Drank until about five o'clock in the morning, passed out, hit a car head on. All I remember is um, waking up in the hospital. My name is Kenneth Jones. The drinking and the drug use started in my junior year of high school. I really just struggled with the expectation that I thought was being pressed upon me by family, friends, everybody thinking I was the smart kid. Um, so I sought out the not so smart people. You get into that crowd and there's the drinking and the drug use and as long as you're doing that, you're accepted. As the years went by, I had that tension in my life when I could remember years ago being able to have fun without the drinking and the drugs and to walk away from that would be to walk away from myself and there was fear. I just went through life trying to do what everybody else was doing. Just the goal was to get through college, um, get a job and find a wife. Uh, by the time I was 29 years old, I had accomplished all of that. My wife and I had moved to Macon where I was pursuing my dream job as a sportscaster. In August of 2003, all of those uh, frailties and issues really came to a front. Went out after work with a bunch of friends and proceeded to drink until about five o'clock in the morning. The plan was that I would just take one of my coworkers home and I would spend the night there. But for some reason, I decided to drop him off and drive home. On the way home, I, um, I fell asleep behind the wheel, drifted into oncoming traffic, collided head on with, a, with an oncoming vehicle. And the driver of that car was killed instantly. All I can remember is waking up in the hospital and hearing that someone had lost their life. The reality quickly set in that I had taken someone's life. I can't really express in words the hollowness of that feeling. On February 27th, 2004, I was sentenced to serve seven years in prison. While I was in prison, I lost that dream career. I also had lost a marriage. Began to do a lot of soul searching. A lot of things were happening while I was going through the prison system that I was really being sheltered and shielded from a lot of situations and, and circumstances. And I began to just realize that there was something or someone that had been protecting me during my time. As I moved through and went to a transitional center, um, I got into a room with seven other guys. Most of them were, were believers. One morning I was cleaning up in, the, in, our, in our dorm room to get ready for inspection and there was a Bible sitting on the desk. And um, I just made an announcement and said, hey, you know, whoever's Bible this is, we need to get it off the desk and into a locker. Nobody claimed the Bible. And one of the guys just kind of half-heartedly said, why don't you read it? So I picked up the Bible and started reading in Proverbs. Around that same time, I, one of my bunkmate, he just looked at me and shook his head. I said, it's a real shame. You really have a heart that God could use if you would just let him. Uh, those words just penetrated my heart and they broke me down. Um, I started attending a Bible study, and for the first time in my life, I was being taught the scriptures, learning of the love and the grace that God has for us, and um, understanding that what He wants the most is a relationship with us, His children. It was at that time that I accepted the Lord into my life. Man, what a, what a change it made for me while I was there in prison. I can remember talking to some of the guys about about our life and our situation. But I said, you know, guys, this is, this is really just a physical prison. These are just walls. There are so many people outside of these walls that are walking around in prison even though they're free. Even though we are in these walls and in prison, in our hearts and in our minds, we can be free. One of my favorite verses is Revelation 3.20. And Jesus says, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. Anyone who hears my voice and opens the door I will come in and eat with him and him with me. All I had to do was open the doors to crack and the Lord has flooded my life. While in prison, I lost the dream career and a marriage, but I gained a relationship with the one true God who created the universe. I've finally been restored back into that father-son relationship I longed for. The one thing that I've learned through all this time is that God is a God of restoration, reconciliation, and redemption, and that there is always hope in Jesus.